Welcome back guys. This is Ashwin here. In this video we are going to solve the problem Chief Hopper. Chief's bot is playing an old DOS based game. There is a row of buildings of different heights arranged at each index along a number line. The bot starts at a building 0 and a height of 0. You must determine the minimum energy his bot needs at the start so that he can jump to the top of each building without his energy going below 0. Units of height relate uh, directly to units of energy. The bot's energy level is calculated as follows. If the bot's uh, bot energy is less than the height of the building, his new energy is new energy equals bot energy minus height minus uh, bot energy. If you take the minus to the inside means uh, that this will be 2 multiplies bot energy minus height. That is the formula. And uh, here also, if the bot's uh, bot energy is greater than the height of the building, his new energy that is equal to here also 2 multiplies bot energy minus height. Both are almost uh, the same formula. We have to calculate, uh, they just uh, showed us in a different way because uh, this is some kind of a hard problem, but uh, this is actually very easy. Uh, but if you just uh, see the problem and uh, try to approach it in a straightforward way means it will be uh, very difficult to solve this problem sometimes it will exceed the time limit if you don't go in an optimal way so as I already said this is 2 multiplies bot energy minus height that is the formula for the new energy starting with bot energy equals 4 we get the following table so this is 4 and the height is 2 here they have uh, showed some delta. We will just ignore this. Uh, the final bot energy is like uh, 48 if we just uh, go through this formula. But here also the minimum bot energy needed is uh, just 3. Because uh, because as you can able to see uh, if it starts from 3 means it will automatically increment uh, slowly and uh, it will never go to less than the height of the building. So that's how it works. So instead of uh, going from small number to a bigger number because uh, we have to like uh, select a smaller number like optimal smaller number and after that uh, we will just uh, do this uh, formula and finally we will check uh, whether uh, the bot energy is not going to zero or not. So that is like a straightforward way we will just start from small and goes to the large uh, bot energy. So if you just uh, rearrange the formula here. So I will call it as uh, new energy, maybe I will just comment this. So currently new energy equals to multiplies bot energy minus height. If I rewrite the formula, so I will just call it as energy equals energy. Both are uh, energy, we just need to consider both as energy. So I'm just uh, taking the height to the left side. So that is uh, plus height and we have this 2 that will be divided by 2. So sometimes it will be in the decimal value uh, because uh, we are just uh, dividing it by 2 right. If you just uh, go for floor division means we just have to add plus 1 to avoid the decimal value. If you didn't use the floor division means the alternate formula will be just copy this and paste this. So this is like a normal division it will give some decimal value. I will call the function as seal. So I will just uh, take the seal of whole value. So the result will be in uh, decimal or uh, some uh, normal integer but uh, it will take the seal that is the upper bound of the value like that we will just uh, calculate the energy in the end we will have the minimum initial energy we need for the chief spot that's how i just uh, solve the problem it will just a simple for loop and uh, we will just use this uh, formula and uh, let's see the constraints here the constraints n can go up to 10 to the power of 5 and the values also go to the 10 to the power of 5 so here it is uh, five buildings and uh, we have the heights here and they have given some explanation but it will be in the straightforward way. 
so we will just ignore this and we have another uh, two more examples here all the height is uh, 4 so minimum height will be obviously 4 and here we have last example so initial energy will be 3 and the, that is our answer let's uh, solve the problem based on this formula I'm going to use or else you can also use this so now we have to initialize energy equals 0 this is the result we have to return now for height in array of I'm going to reverse the array because uh, we are uh, going in a reverse manner so this will reverse the array and get the height now energy energy equals we will just mention the formula energy plus height height plus 1 divided by 2 so this is the whole formula after running this loop we will get the minimum energy we want and finally we will just return the energy that's it this is the whole problem so if you go in some complex way it means it will take like lots of code maybe you will use some binary search and try to calculate the minimum energy but it this is the simplest way you can able to do Let's run the code once to check whether it passes the sample test case. Yes, it's passing. We also have the math. Maybe let's do that. Another uh, formula. Maybe I will just come on this line and uh, copy this. Paste it. Now instead of using uh, double slash that is floor division, I will just say math dot seal of so here we don't need the height plus one I'll just uh, remove this now let's try to run the code now it has passed the sample test case as you can able to see both the formula works and we have uh, calculated this uh, energy maybe let's just uh, trace uh, for one example I will just take this one one six and four so if you reverse the array means it will be 4, 6 and 1 so this is the array now we are just uh, taking the height right so here the height is 4 energy is 0 we will just see 0 plus 4 divided by 2 so this will be 2 so 2 now the energy is 2 and after that uh, height is 6 so 6 plus 2 is 8 and 8 divides by 2 is uh, 4 it will be 4 and finally we have like 1 plus 4 is 5 5 divides 2 is uh, 2.5 and we will take the seal and that is 3 so 3 is the final answer so this is the final answer we are returning we have got the answer like we supposed to do so we have just seen in the reverse way let's also seen in the straightforward approach so initially we are uh, taking the energy as 3 and this is the formula we have to do so 2 multiplies 3 is uh, 6 6 minus uh, 1 so this will be 1 6 and uh, 4 so here if you consider means uh, 3 6 minus 1 is 5 so energy here is uh, 5 and after that it is uh, having the same thing so 2 multiplies uh, 5 is 10 10 minus 6 is 4 so 4 and uh, here again uh, 2 multiplies 4 is uh, 8 8 minus 4 is 4 we have got the same results so initially bot energy is 3 and uh, we have calculated the same values 5 double 4 5 double 4 none of the values gone below 0 so that is good for us so similar way we have solved this problem okay let's submit the code now this is just a linear time approach we are just uh, iterating the heights and we have solved the problem successfully 
if you have any other approach other than this please leave a comment below it will be very useful for others uh, in order to explore uh, other approaches if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel and share the video to your friends if this is helpful stay tuned for more videos